Hello, my name is Michael Hill and I am the manufacturer of the Hound Heater, the Hound Breezer, the Heat and Breeze, the Hound Warmer, and the Hound Cooler. The purpose of this video is going to be describing what these two products do and how they install. Uh, the installation is exactly the same no matter what product you have and so if you were to buy the Hound Breezer or the, Hound, the Heat and Breeze, um, your installation will be the same and it is quite simple. Uh, I want to show you some of the parts that they come with. We try to make this as easy as we can. And so we, when, we, when you install the Hound Breezer, you're going to need a tubing to transfer the air. You're going to need an outside duct system where the air can be pulled through the outside into the doghouse to refresh that air. We've included a seal that will go behind um, the Hound uh, Breezer or the Heat and Breeze so it seals everything up nice and tight to keep bugs out. We've even included uh, a couple of hose clamps so things can be nice and tight and you don't have to mess around with them. And we've also included a five inch hole saw which goes together quite easily. Um, it has a couple of different parts and what you will do is put these two parts together, slide the bit part through, and then fasten on the bolt that tightens and, and puts the two together. Okay. A little bit more about the products. What we've done is, you along with myself, we don't want the dog uh, or your pet to get at any of the adjustments. So what we've done is we've put in a little set screw or clip, depending on which one you have, but they both work the same. And this little set screw comes out easy, or the clip that, uh, that you might see on, on some of the models will pinch together and come out. Underneath this one, you have two switches, one for heat and one for breeze. Under this cover, you have the thermostat. And the thermostat, again, when you take out this little bolt, you can lift this up and then you can make your adjustment depending on uh, how warm you want that doghouse or how, when you want that fan to come on. Again, the Hound Breezer is very, very similar, except we did not leave the clip on here because most animals can't get at this and they certainly can't turn this. To make the insulation process go just a bit easier, I like to pre-assemble a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the, the vent hose onto the back of the heat and breeze and then I'm going to tighten it down using a, a simple hose clamp. Again, I can do this by hand or in this case because I like to have things go quite a bit quicker. I'm going to use my, my power drill. Uh, what I want to do is I want to carefully slide this over the back and make sure it pushes all the way down and then once that is completed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the hose clamp over and snug that up. This is going to allow me to drill my hole, slide this through, attach it to the vent, and uh, finish up assembly in a very, very short amount of time. Now that I've pre-assembled the vent tube firmly to the hound heater with uh, the hose clamp, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill the five inch hole. Now you'll notice in this house, I used to have a hound heater in here, and now I'm going to upgrade to the heat and breeze. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure over approximately two inches and four inches up and at that spot that's where I'm going to drill the hole. Now if you didn't have a hound in, in, in your house before uh, you would simply measure down uh, 11 inches and over seven inches farthest away from the door is what I recommend and that would be the hole you would have for the cord and then uh, again you could measure over two inches and up four and that spot is where you would drill the hole the five inch hole for the vent tube. Now that the hound heater, or excuse me, the heat and breeze five inch hole saw is, is all the way through, um, one thing I want to tell you, just to give you a little bit of a, a hint, just to make things a little easier, on the size of the five inch hole saw, there are some openings, and the purpose of that is to take your screwdriver as you're working through, and uh, as you cut pieces out, you want to make sure that you take, take them out of the five inch hole saw. And the purpose of that is so the teeth can continue to cut. So every time you make a cut and this fills up, pop these out and discard them, and uh, it'll make your system and your, your installation go much, much easier. Installation now is almost complete. The hard work is done. What we do now is we simply slide the heat and breeze uh, into the hole, 
actually into both holes. We, I made one for the cord, which again is about four inches down from the center here, over two inches from the center of the, the vent hole. I will slide the cord through this hole, and I will slide the vent tube through this hole, attach the heat and breeze to the doghouse, and then simply attach the vent uh, to the other end of my vent hole. Now, one thing that, that you could do is you could run the cord and the vent hole through the same hole. I prefer and I think it's best to have two separate holes, but again, if you, were, if you didn't have something to cut this hole, you can run them both through here. Again, you just want to make sure that you're not pinching the cord. So I have now fed the spring protected cord that comes standard with all of my products. Uh, I fed it through the inch and an eighth or inch and three sixteenths hole. I carefully pull this through, but before I go too far, I want to take this piece of foam. And it, the purpose of this is something we've added again just to make the product even better. And it goes over the vent tube on the hound heater or heat and breeze side. And it, what it's going to do is it's going to provide a complete seal so no bugs uh, can get through the hole to bother your pet. Now, we've put in three sturdy wood screws so it's firmly on the doghouse uh, wall. And the last part that we need to do is put on the outside vent cap so we can suck air through. It has a bug shield on the inside that's going to keep the bugs out. And then in, for winter, we also have a screen, or excuse me, a solid piece. You take out the two screws for the bug shield, that comes off, and then simply put in the solid piece to, to stop infiltration into your doghouse. So I will do that now. All right, we've now put in the last of the four screws. Again, these are supplied with the unit. They're the sh four shorter ones. Uh, the cord is coming out the bottom here. Last thing I would do is I would recommend to put a bead of silicone around here. That is going to prevent any water from getting in. The final thing that needs to be done is to put the heat shield above the heat and breeze. And then I'll show you a little bit about how to operate it. I've now completed the final step in the installation process, putting on the heat shield. Again, this deflects the heat away so it, it spreads out inside the house. It protects the roof. This gets extremely hot, and by extremely hot I mean 160 degrees, so it's like really, really hot water. Not hot enough to do any kind of damage or be combustible, but it still is nice to, to have that break so, so the ceiling, people feel that ceiling and they think, oh man, that's really hot. Um, but in, in reality, it's not even close to be a combustible temperature. Now, in this last segment, what I'd like to do is just talk about how to, how to operate the, the heat and breeze or the hound breezer. They're going to work, they're going to work very, very similar. Uh, what I'm going to do is the switch on the, on my right is for the, the vent and then the switch on the left is for the, the heater part. I am going to uh, show you how to operate the breezer. Now, so I flip that switch down, and then I'm going to turn the uh, thermostat, I'm going to turn it clockwise. Now, it's 70 degrees in here right now, and so when this comes on, when I turn it slowly clockwise, it's going to click on, and that means anytime it gets 70 or above, the home breezers, uh, the heat and breeze breezer part is going to start sucking in outside air and blowing it um, into the doghouse at a rate of about 24 cubic feet per minute. So a house this size, it is literally going to replace that air more than one time per minute. Um, if you notice that the nice white noise, it's less than 45 decibels. What we found in all of our testing is that the dogs, uh, customers would tell us their dogs are not barking. Um, it's very, very soothing sound. Uh, it's not overpowering at all, but again, it's bringing in that fresh outside air into the doghouse, comes out the bottom. Many dogs, we would get pictures of them sleeping right below it. Um, the other part is, how are we going to then operate it uh, for the cold weather? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach in and I'm going to turn the breezer switch up and I'm going to turn the heat switch on. Now, the heater's not going to come on at this point until I turn the dial counterclockwise. Now, I heard a little bit of a click and what happened then is, is the uh, switch is saying, ooh, I need to turn on the heat. And the heat will slowly uh, come on. I can feel it just starting to get warm. 
Now the setting I have it on now, if, if you could read that, is going to be close to high because again, the inside temperature that I'm in the studio right now is approximately 70. So what most people are going to do is they're going to have it set slightly above medium, which is going to keep a house like this, if it's well insulated, easily 55 to 60 degrees. And keep in mind, by doing that, by keeping your dog warmer, they are going to eat less. Um, study after study shows that for every 10 degrees that the temperature drops that the dog is staying in, a dog eats between 15 and 20 percent more food just to stay comfortable. Besides the fact that we like to keep our pets comfortable just as we like to be. Finally, I want to thank you very much for tuning in on my video. I hope it's helped you and I hope you understand that the Hound Heater Doghouse Heater is by far the best doghouse heater made. Uh, that's anywhere in the world. Um, it's all steel. It's made with replaceable parts that are going to last you for many, many years. Again, I'm on year seven of my originals. And um, it's just a product that's going to work and keep your dog very, very comfortable. As we say at the Hound Heater Company, comfort for your pet, peace of mind for you.